Did you know there are actually two dragon forms you can get in Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC? One to increase the potency of dragon communion spells, while the other increases the potency of ancient dragon cult spells instead. Let's see how to get it done. Warning, this video might showcase some things you may consider to be a spoiler. It does not showcase any major story plot points, but it does showcase a side boss as well as a quest chain, so do keep that in mind. The first item we're going to talk about today is the Rock Heart. This one is pretty easy to get and doesn't require too much since it is pretty accessible if you can simply kill a few bosses. This one here is my favorite one because I'm a big Dragon Communion fan and this will boost Dragon Communion incantations. I think the lore behind this is really awesome as well. It is such a fantastic item to get. The only downside is when you use this, you have to be naked. So let's go ahead and take off my shirt. If you take a look at my stats real quick to compare the armor, you can see my physical stats right there are really bad, but you do get a slight increase in armor when transforming. So let's go ahead and transform so you can see what it looks like, and then I will showcase how you can get it. So this one aesthetically I think looks really damn cool. If you compare it to the regular dragons, they really look similar, which makes sense from a lore standpoint when it comes to Bael and what he did and where the lesser dragons came from but i'll have a video in lore for that later on now if you take a look at my stats and compare it before you can see my physical stuff did go up slightly but not by much so you will do a lot of damage with this with your incantations but you are going to be a little susceptible to damage so make sure you're careful so in order to do this you will have to progress until you get to the shadow keep because you will have to go through here to get a painting in order to unlock the area to actually gain the item. You do have to fight a boss, but he's pretty easy to kill. After killing the boss, you want to go to your left because you do have to follow the staircase up because you are going to have to make your way around. Don't worry, there is a shortcut you can unlock in case you do die along the way. But go ahead and wipe out all the enemies or I guess run away from them. That's really going to be up to you. But go all the way up and continue up the staircase and then as soon as you get to the top you're going to want to bank all the way to the east because we're going to have to find a like kind of like a hidden waterfall to go into but before you do that there is a shortcut you can unlock that will actually allow you to go directly from the right of the grace instead of left which will save you time in case you do end up dying now i did actually end up dying because i <laughs> basically jumped trying to skip the ladder and realized I jumped too far and I fell to my death. So definitely make sure you climb down the ladder. If you end up skipping it, you may end up dying like I did. But once you get down the ladder, you will see the waterfall. Go ahead and go inside of it and continue following it and you will eventually find the painting, which you will then have to solve the painting puzzle in order to get the item that you need to turn into the rock dragon form. All right, guys. So for those who don't care about the quest chain or anything, Go to Jagged Peak Mountainside. This is the nearest grace that you will need. You can see on the map, I have it marked basically where the rock card is, and I will showcase in game how you can get that now. Now, I know what you're thinking, though, but how do you actually get to Jagged Peak Mountainside? Well, I'm going to showcase how to do that along with the quest chain, because the quest chain, in my opinion, is well worth doing because you get some new armor and weapons. And it's also going to be required if you want the second dragon heart anyway, so you might as well do it. Before we continue with the quest chain, I do want to state I am hosting an Elden Bling Fashion Souls contest here on my channel where you can submit your video clips or screenshots of armor used from the DLC to make the coolest mods possible. Link in the description down below for anyone interested. And because it is a celebration for the DLC, I will have prizes like Steam gift cards and more. So what you want to do is actually on the map, you will see a spot called Castle Front. I want you to go from here and come all the way down until you get to the Pillar Path Waypoint. Keep in mind, once you get to this waypoint, you will actually see the NBC you need to talk to in order to start their quest chain and get their armor that they give you at the end of the quest. Once you go past him, you'll actually have an invasion. Really easy to do. Make sure you kill the invader and continue south because this will lead you to Dragon's Pit. 
while you're in dragon's pit there's actually two bosses there's a side boss that gives you upgrade stones which i highly recommend if you want to max out some weapons other than that though it will actually lead you to dragon's pit terminus from dragon's pit terminus if you follow the path you will see another dragon you have to kill pretty easy but the dragons did have their skills updated so a little more challenging than base game I want you to go south from here because when you go south, this will unlock the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion. It will give you some back lore as well. And the NPC will actually tell you that you had to kill Belle in order to get essentially the Dragon Heart as the reward. So make sure you talk to her. And she does give you a bonus weapon as well that I'll talk about later in the video. So once you have the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion unlocked, go all the way back up north where you fought that dragon. From there, continue to follow the path and you will lead to the foot of the Jagged Peak. From here, you're going to have a double dragon boss fight. Really fun and it was really cool to do for the first time. But afterwards, you'll actually see that NPC we talked to earlier. Make sure to talk to them again because they will tell you that they want you to summon them when you fight fail. Continue to follow the path and you will have to fight another ancient dragon for a boss. You can technically cheese it on the hill if you wanted to with arrows that do poison and things like that. It just takes a very long time, but it is something you can do if you're struggling. But once you continue onward, eventually you will unlock the Jagged Peak Summit. And this is where you actually fight Bale the Dread, who is one of the coolest dragon bosses in the game. I absolutely love it. He has some really cool attacks. Timing is pretty easy. In my opinion, some of his attacks are delayed, but once you get used to it, it's pretty telegraphed. I do want to point out his leg that is cut off is actually a weak point, so it's really easy to get some extra damage in. However, if you stay underneath of him too long, he will shoot fire down at you, so be careful. Once you kill that dragon boss, Bale, go ahead and return, and you can get the armor right here on the map. After you get the armor, return to the Altar of Dragon Communion. You'll notice that the NPC there is gone. And instead, you get the item to transform and a new weapon. So, of course, with the Priestess Heart, the background for this I also think is really awesome from a lore standpoint. And this makes you look like the NPC that you did the quest chain for. But you also gain a bonus. She does have a weapon that she actually gives you as well a strength arcane weapon this thing is pretty cool because this will actually do some like pseudo like ancient magic even though i'm more arcane than faith when i use the weapon art this gives me the ability to do some cool lightning hits decently hard as well thank you so much for making it to the end of this video like and subscribe if you're new and if this video helped you out comment down below and let me know i'm ronin and i'll see you next time